And only on 13 tonight, the frightening moments when an angry driver threatened a man with a gun on the road. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Barajas. And I'm Mayra Moreno. This happened on the freeway in the middle of rush hour. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live. And Jessica, what led up to all of this to begin with? Yeah, that's just it. The victim says this was unprovoked. In fact, his camera capturing nothing unusual just before it happened. He is sharing this video, asking anyone with information to call Houston police. Go on, man. A desperate plea to defuse what's unfolding. Yo, it's always up. <laughs> Yo, it's like GTA. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, we're different, man. We are it's the, different. It's the usual suspects just doing what they do. He's got a car. He's got a gun. He's got a chain. He's got on glasses. He's willing to throw everything away at a moment's notice. None of this means anything to him. DNA. Fresh air, hey, the clean that's water. The DNA. Hey, check it out. You ain't even consider his kids. Uh, exactly. Online of lady. His, his wife, home. his home, his, his career hobbies. job, his hobby. You ain't yeah. consider his biker gang, none of that shit. This motherfucker is willing to throw everything away. He has of, to uh he has to be in the cuffs or he has to be getting George Floyded. Only at that moment will then he start to think about mama and all that shit before it's too late. This shit is crazy, man. Hey. Hey. George Floyd was talking about his girlfriend, by the way. Exactly. Facts. Yeah. 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 A desperate plea to defuse what's unfolding. It was extremely scary. A gun pointing right at him, his path blocked by the gunman's car. Could have been injured, killed, or whatever. The 66-year-old victim who asked to remain anonymous for safety reasons says he was on the 288 northbound flyover connecting to the loop westbound. It was Friday evening around 530 a trailer right in front of him and nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing at all. It's the random act. All of a sudden, a black BMW clipped his right front passenger side, causing damage and wedging him in. The violence escalated. The driver immediately jumps out with a high caliber pistol, a large caliber pistol, pointed at me, saying something. And then he came around to the driver's side and pointed directly at me, uh, threatening my life. The victim pleads for the man to leave him alone and even apologizes, he says. For what? I don't know. It worked. The man heads back to his car to leave, but not before raising the gun one more time. The victim then called Houston police. I think he's a criminal. Based on what he did, it's no way that just a normal... He thinks he's a criminal. Why does y'all have got it? Y'all are just insane. <laughs> I wonder if Amazing Lucas will cover this. Nah. Nobody's going to cover this. Amazing Lucas is a rocker, dog. Y'all gliders are insane, man. Y'all are so nice and so like uh measured and reason. I think Poised, he's criminal. He composed. Hey, it's amazing that y'all uh was able to conquer so much back in the day. If it's DNA with us and DNA with y'all, it's kind of amazing that y'all were able to do the things that y'all did back in the day. I I think it has a lot to do with the fact that they um can work together so like when you can work together and you can um and you have a you have superior language like they had a language right they have superior uh weaponry i think they you know one thing too when you're just going when when you're just doing your thing like they were exploring the world going different places and you're just doing your thing a lot of those natives was just like yo Y'all in charge. Yeah. No. And also, yeah. I think like I think that I agree with that a lot because if we're if we're looking at DNA right, the way that gliders are, the way that we are, and I don't think much has changed. So I think that the whole barbaric shit that they they showed us in like history and they told us, you know, you know, I you know the way they, they told us the pill yeah. and everything hey, like that. Yeah, I don't think that's the truth. 
I mean, gliders were barbaric in like wartime scenar- scenarios, but otherwise, no, not really. I just, just don't. Like, I don't even see you motherfuckers being barbaric. Yeah, I was soft, man. Yeah, I can't see gliders being like like sun people. And Africa. Y'all soft, bro. No, nah, what I well, here's the thing. I could see them doing that because they they had to like Columbus and those guys were savages. But what 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 the thing about it is, is that they can do it to a means. They can do that savagery into a means. So like you, you, they're you, you subjugating. You. No, like when they go to like say they go to an island and there's a bunch of natives there. They're subjugating you into a means, like to get you to work the land or get you to, um, cr- you know, uh, uh, take on their religion. Right. It's but not a chaotic that, thing. Barbar- to it. You you said that you think that like Columbus was barbaric. Oh, I'm, no. I'm trying to. I, I'm trying no, to. He I'm wasn't. thinking. I'm thinking that shit was not exactly that at all. I think it was more so of what you're saying is like kind of just outsmarted the natives. To the point where it was just like, oh shit, they got it figured out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they can have the, it. The Spanish like prevented the natives from like they prevented them from doing the child sacrifices. They like fucking made them no. stop acting so crazy. I got that. No, no, I'm I, I got that. But what, what I'm talking about is like in order to subjugate a people, you have to crack some eggs you want to make an omelet you got to crack some eggs man um gliders gliders have been have 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 the propensity for savagery it, i think it's just the it's to an end it's to a me it's 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 to an end like there's a goal it's not there's just, a reason to do it yeah it's not just the chaos. Rat, retarded son, man they not it, like not just it's like barbecue right it ain't yeah, just barbecue. It's not just chaos. Yeah, they have a government. They're trying to institute a government. They're trying to institute a religion. They're trying to make you slaves. They're trying to make you um, um, pick cotton or or, or, or pick sugar cane so that they can sell that shit somewhere else and shit for other stuff and trade and all over the world. Whereas in some people, it's just like, be my slave so I can stunt. I got more slaves than the other guy and shit. And I'm going to have all the yeah, yeah, like it's, it's it's not like it's not like the but gliders. I, nah, don't don't say they're not savages, man. They they no, they got savages. No, nah, gliders be gliders be. I always say this to myself. Gliders be going ham, bro. When it's time to go ham, gliders go fucking ham, bro. Yeah, like like just look at look at like um, I showed you the one thing. Like they're refueling fighter jets at. Forty thousand feet. They got they they can refuel till the fighter jet doesn't have to come out of the sky. What do you think that fighter jet is doing up there? It's a fighter jet. I think he's a criminal. Based on what he did, it's no way that just a normal person would do something like that. Now he hopes the dash cam he has to protect himself in case of an accident will help find the man who put him in danger. Sharing clear images of the car and the angry driver to try to keep others safe. I hope that he's arrested, taken off the street for a long time. He's a detriment to society, and he should never, ever be able to uh, put another person in this situation again. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Wow. Houston, man. Yikes. Um. <laughs> he ain't been 